did he say? It's the Tom Likas Show. I'm pretty amused by the whole thing. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. Sitting here the week before Valentine's Day. And I, um, I feel your pain because uh, years of having been married, years of having had live-in girlfriends and what have you, the pressure starts to build. and It's got to be even worse now with the economy sucking the way it sucks. Then it's got to be difficult to be getting those hints about what she wants. I uh, really detest Valentine's Day. I detest it because it takes, you know, your relationship, which could be, who knows, perfectly great, and it puts a gun to your head and it forces you to perform, or it for, right, perform. And you know what I mean by that, perform. Never do you want to perform less than when you have a gun to your head. It forces you to step it up, go out and buy something, pick out a card. Oh, my God. And it's already happening at the malls. These guys are like the walking dead looking for the Hallmark store, standing there staring at these cars. Like, oh, my God, what am I going to do? By the way... <laughs> I understand that uh, you go to these uh, malls and you uh, look around. I, I, I imagine you go there and you think nobody's looking. <laughs> but I see you. I do. I see you suffering. I've seen it. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, I, they don't advertise here and I don't care. Okay. Doesn't matter. All you guys who are, like, locked in, all of you who are stuck <laughs> at Costco, and I keep getting emails about this because I have a Costco card, not because I asked them to remind me about this, uh, Costco will deliver, without the Costco name on it, by the way, because it will be delivered by a local florist, they will deliver 35 long stem roses in a vase for sixty four ninety nine. So no matter what they're getting for a dozen red roses where you are, uh, Costco, by the way, when I was married, I used it, and no one was ever the wiser. Nobody can tell you saved all that money. You go to Costco. Uh, Dean went to Costco.com. He didn't know I was already there. I wanted to make sure I had all the facts straight, but uh, that's it. Sixty four ninety nine. And by the way, you can order them online. She'll think you worked all day on this. <laughs> you just roll in there. You put add to cart. <laughs> I'm running through this right now just so the boys will understand, okay? Let's go to checkout here. I'm doing it as I'm talking to you here just so I could save you a few bucks. You go to check out. These are, this is for those of you, by the way, who are married or living with somebody. You know I recommend against that stuff for God's sake. I, and then you can, uh, yes, you can type in here. You can type in, uh, you know, your little sentiment. I love you, honey. Happy Valentine's Day. You type that in. And you type in your account number, American Express. Type in your uh, expiration date. Two thousand ten. Uh, you put that four digit code in there, and then you click send, <laughs> and then go back to your business. It's that simple. <laughs> no thought required. 
Oh, what a maroon your girlfriend is, your wife. <laughs> they see 35, long stem roses showing up. They're not going to ask, did you get these at Costco? <laughs> yes. It doesn't say Costco anywhere on it. And uh, meanwhile, it took you like all of five minutes to log on to Costco.com and type all that up. It's that simple. Now they were the only the only uh, drawback to all of this is that they will uh, they'll deliver on either the twelfth or the thirteenth of February. Okay, but um, I would say for the amount of money you're saving here, you should go for it. Do it. Get this pain uh, out of your head. Uh, get this monkey off your back and be done with it. Holy Christ! It's just amazing stuff. All these articles now appearing because of the lousy economy on ways you can save money on Valentine's Day. Things you can do to uh, uh, to uh, cut the cost of this needless... It's not even a holiday. It's just an annoyance. It's painful. We've talked about those of you who are expected to produce an engagement ring or a promise ring. We talked about those of you who are getting married... Still time to get out. And we've talked about those of you who go to the mall and you are shopping. By the way, I watch at CNBC every morning and I'm seeing actually called a pajama gram. <laughs> and and these items are, are pretty unsexy. And by the way, they don't come with the hot chicks they use in the commercial wearing this stuff either. Who probably aren't married to anybody. They're probably just out there uh, getting uh, <laughs> modeling jobs and making as much money as they can. But um, I mean, I, I I really feel sorry for the guys who are married or living with somebody. You feel like you're going, uh, you know, to the uh, executioner's chamber next Saturday. Oh, kill me now. Thank you. Oh, Dean gave me the Pajama Gram uh, website. There it is. Some of this stuff is not very sexy. Tell you right now. I mean, honestly, when when do you ever find pajamas sexy? Lingerie? Yes. Pajamas? No. I mean, don't do that. You're going to have to look at her in it. And then, by the way, when you give her pajamas for Valentine's Day, she's going to put the uh, gun out and she's going to force you to perform at gunpoint. Jesus. Uh, you know, February the 14th is one of my favorite nights to eat at a restaurant. Because I love looking around the restaurant. And you see all these chatty chicks all dressed up, all tarted up, and they're all sitting there, you know, ordering the lobster. And then you see all these guys who don't wear a suit and tie any other day of the year sitting there looking. The collar is like a noose around their neck, and they're sitting there scared to death at what she's going to order. Should we get some champagne? I think we should get some champagne. And you see these guys who'd rather be anywhere else in the world than sitting right there. Now, I'm not trashing love, and frankly, if you've got a good relationship, I feel good for you. That's great. If it's working for you, if you're one of the lucky few, fantastic. But I know that the average American guy is sitting here just dreading Valentine's Day next week. And uh, you may have plans. You may be stumped trying to think of plans, think of things you can do. And, uh, you know, I myself am getting out of town. I'm going to a barrel tasting at one of my favorite wineries. That's what I'm doing. I'm just getting out. Out. And if you don't live with somebody, I recommend you do the same. Just get out of town. Get out. Go. Well, if you would like to talk to me about what you've been going through, trying to find a card... Trying to find the right lingerie. Going into Victoria. See, I see you guys. You know, been to the Beverly Center. I've been to the um, the Glendale Galleria, and I see you guys in there. 
<laughs> trying to get help at the lingerie store. Oh, my. Oh, pussified like that. Boo-hoo-hoo. If you're one of these guys, if you're one of these poor, pathetic souls who is slaving over this, worried about it, or just plain exasperated over the the upcoming Valentine's Day, I'd love to hear all about it. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. Tom like his show now with shorter commercial breaks, fewer commercials, more phone calls. Oh yeah. Even you can get through now at one 800 800 tom Bobby on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? Not much. Um, I'm in a predicament, but I guess it's gonna happen every year because her birthday is on Valentine's Day. Well, actually, that could work to your advantage. Well, the problem is she's been burned so bad in the past that she's looking for me to differentiate the two. So I think it's worse off than that. <laughs> <laughs> and I understand because my birthday is like seven, eight days away from Christmas. And so when I was a kid trying to get parties and do things, it was hard because everyone was broke and nobody wanted to do anything after Christmas. So I see where she's coming from. It's that you know that puts me in a spot because all the, all the Valentine's Day hype that's going on. Everyone out, everyone's you know spending money. The only thing I can find is like flowers and hearts everywhere. It's all Valentine's Day crap. So I mean, it's it's kind of difficult. I guess I kind of feel bad for it because I mean it's not her fault. But if everyone would just dump Valentine's Day, we wouldn't have a problem. Well, uh, and how much does she expect you to spend? Uh, I don't know. You don't uh, know. As much as uh, as I'm willing to spend, because uh, you know whether she wants me to spend uh, you know 500 bucks or whatever, if I can't afford it, I can't afford it. And what does she want for Valentine's Day? Um, I don't. I have, I have no clue. I'm like I'm like in so much trouble right now. Why are you in trouble? Because I don't know what she wants, and if if I, if I don't produce, I'm going to get in trouble. Exactly what you were saying before. Well then. So, <laughs> That, that's one of the reasons you need to put your foot down and make make rules. So I guess the best move I can do is talk to everybody she knows, and hopefully they can steer me in the right direction. But um, I got I got two missions in a couple of weeks. Well, you want to keep it as cheap as possible. Uh, do you have any tips? Any advice for me? Well, one way to do it is to make dinner for her instead of taking her out. Good idea. Going out, I, I totally am against that. It's it's ridiculous trying to get a table anywhere. Do you know how to make anything you know out of the ordinary? Um, I know how to heat a, a good pizza pie. No, 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 <laughs> no. You need to, you know, you go to Costco and you get some of that meat they got there. <laughs> I'm I'm putting on a little bit of a uh, a character here. Go to Costco, get some of that meat they got there. All right, and then you bring that home and you cook it and you put some veggies on the side and a bottle of uh, fifteen dollar wine and there you go. Happy Valentine's Day. Okay, that could take care of Valentine's Day. It's not now, a bad idea. what you might do if you're not used to cooking anything, like actually cooking, you might try doing it by yourself one day. Cooking, right? Get some practice in. And most of the meat they have at Costco. Uh, you can uh, buy a big enough piece. You can cut it in half and cook one half when you're alone and then the other when she's there. Good idea. That cuts the cost dramatically. I think, uh, I think I'm going to look into that. A Throw in a Blu-ray DVD and it's uh, there. It's an evening. There you go. And I guess I could uh, wrap a little gift or something for her birthday. and then Tiny that'll, gifts. That'll knock them both out. <laughs> I w- <laughs> Make them as tiny and in, in, inexpensive as possible. Okay, why should you... By the way, what kind of uh, relationship is that that you have to walk around afraid that if you don't produce, you know, she, you're going to be in trouble? Um, it's not so much the relationship. It's just, you know, you know how women are. If, if, they, if they don't feel special, then they won't... I really be, don't uh, care. You know, I, I really... I took this uh, this point of view a few years ago. If they're not happy, they know where the door is. 
Right. But she she does uh, she does plenty for me. So not that I owe her, but it would be nice. Yeah, how about, uh, d- d- what does she do for you on Valentine's Day? Nothing. She sits there like a little princess and waits for you to produce. <laughs> well, see, that's that's the difference, and this is why I need to produce. I've already gotten, um, she's already sent me the receipts for, not exactly receipts, but she's already showed me things that she's bu- buying me for Valentine's Day. So I guess I'm fortunate in that case that I'm one of the few guys that's actually going to get anything. But even then, I mean, she's showing you receipts. She's telling you how much she spent. <laughs> Well, and yeah, like she's letting before. you know that that's the that's the floor, like that's the that's the bar. You have to exceed that. that that's that's something I am nervous about. But the bottom line is, I can only afford what I can afford. And, and I don't, how much has I'm she no spent? Than, no, no more than a hundred bucks. Nothing, nothing dramatic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not going into debt just because I think it's going to score me some brownie points. That's just stupid. I would never go into debt for Valentine's Day. I, mean, I wouldn't go into debt for anything now. Look so, at the economy. Well, exactly. That's that's my first argument. So that's guess, that's your best excuse. So um, I guess if you guys can maybe take a breath, they don't have to deal with both at the same time. But uh, something I have to deal with in a couple of weeks. <laughs> well, good luck on that. I appreciate the call. Wow. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's our telephone number. It's Mark on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom, how are you? Great. Listen, Tom. Uh, I'm a uh, past your uh, the demographic. I'm 39 years old, but I've been married for almost 10 years. And uh, since the beginning, you know, I put my foot down with my wife. I told her, listen, Valentine's. I'm not buying seventy five ninety dollar, you know, flowers. You know, it's not going to be it. If you want to eat. We'll eat in another situation, another time, because it is ridiculous, the lines in uh, Valentine's to, you know, stop and eat at some of these places. It is outrageous. And, you know, since that day, she hasn't had the problem. I have no problem with Valentine's, just another day that goes by. And my wife knows that we're not going to go do the, you know, the cards or we're not going to do the flowers or whatnot. And it's not a problem for her. So some of these guys that just need to step it up and, you know, need to put their foot down. Otherwise, they're not going to have a life after that. On the back of her neck, preferably. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Take care. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Erica on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, how's it going, Tom? Great. Um, I just wanted to tell you that I am a woman who hates Valentine's Day. I absolutely despise it. I think it's an embarrassing holiday. Well, I, not only uh, is it an embarrassing holiday, but what's more embarrassing is how women expect guys to produce. I agree. I, am, I mean, for the same, it's so embarrassing. For the same amount of money, you can go out on any other night and spend way less, even on anything else. I mean, I don't mind being appreciated every once in a while, but absolutely not on a day, especially with, when it's mandated by society that I be appreciated that day. Oh, it's just ridiculous. Honey, I've got the new lingerie on, and now I want you to ravage me. You know what? I don't mind staying in bed all day, but I do that every day anyway. It doesn't have to be a holiday. Yeah, but on fe- February the 14th, <laughs> as much well, as I like too. sex, when somebody comes in there with the lingerie and they are like, you know, they've been planning on this all week, that this is the day you're going to have to produce, it's a lot less appealing. No, you know what? I Like I said, he doesn't leave the bedroom most of the time anyway, so it doesn't matter to him. Sounds good to me. Thank you for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. Uh, Tasha on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. I was just, I'm listening to your radio. I listen quite often. Sometimes I agree with you. Sometimes I don't. But I'm surprised to even hear you giving suggestions to these men that you don't agree with the holiday. No, I don't. But when somebody is married, they've locked themselves in. You've locked yourself in a prison cell. And so now your only choice is to try to make it as cheap and painless as you can. I suppose, but I feel really bad for these men that would marry a girl that would lock them down. I don't feel sorry for them. They did it to themselves. Right. Uh, So now all I'm doing is, uh, you know, it's like in case of emergency, break glass. Here's a cheap and painless way gotcha. uh, to to fulfill your obligation. Well, I just I agree with this last girl that called in. I think the holiday is absolutely ridiculous. 
Do you know I, I you know I knew a woman once who told me that uh I did not compare favorably with her ex because he used to send her flowers every month just because. Hmm. And upon doing some due diligence I figured out that he was not sending her flowers every month. That at the time Costco had a program where they would send flowers on the same date every month. Uh huh. All year long, and you didn't have to think about it. You didn't have to uh, worry about it. And you could set it to go at the beginning of the year, give them your credit card number, write a few cheeky sayings to put on cards. And it, he made it look like he was doing this every month, when in reality he did it one time, thought about it, and moved on. That's amazing. <laughs> and it's like, well, do you really think that's giving it a lot of thought? Well, of course not. No, I asked, I asked her that question. <laughs> it's just the whole, like I said, the whole holiday is ridiculous. I would never expect my husband to do anything other than tell me he loves me, which is on a daily basis anyway, so really silly holiday. <laughs> well, I agree with you. Well, thank you, Tom. It's been a pleasure. I'm sure it has been, for God's sake. Tom Likes. 1-800-5800-TOM. The Tom Likes Show. It's the Tom Likes Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. Here's our telephone number. Tom Likas Show, now heard six days a week, every Saturday, 2 to 6 p.m. That's 2 to 6 p.m. Pacific time, every Saturday. Monday through Friday, from 3 to 8 p.m. as you head home on 97.1 FM Talk in Los Angeles. And if you are listening to us elsewhere, and you can't pick us up in Southern California on the radio, you can just go to blowmeuptom.com. Click on the Listen Live button any of the six days a week, and there we are. Valentine's Day next week. Oh, boy. I feel your pain, guys. Kenny on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Dad. How you doing, son? Not too good, man. Oh, this is an indication of what I think of the day. I'm well aware of the date. I have calendars everywhere I look. And I didn't even know until you brought it up on your show. That's what the day means to me. It's so insignificant. It's just a total cop-out to me. It's like as if going to work and paying for the regular stuff isn't enough. I got to shout out on, on this so-called holiday, quote-unquote. Well, that's why I tell guys if you don't live with them, if you're not married to them, this is a time to lay low. Yeah, and then and the thing is, and then they, they throw out the thing, uh, well, it's the thought that counts. Oh, yeah, right. Because you know the the thought that counts, that's totally out the window because they're going to go to work or wherever they go and talk to their friends and, and compare. And You know, pull over on the freeway and pick some daisies and hand them over to her and say, honey, I love you. Saw yeah. these along the freeway. Exactly. These are they all, they just, just for you. Oh, your, your, your boyfriend got you two dozen, I only got a dozen, and it's it's ridiculous, man. So you know what I'm going to do? She said it's a thought that counts. I'm going to give her five minutes of my thought and order some on Costco. <laughs> 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 That's about it. That's about as much of my thought as she's going to get. I love that idea. I didn't even know about that. That's wonderful. Take five minutes of my time and be done with be it. Be done with it. Oh, exactly. honey, I can't believe you thought of me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they don't know the difference, man. I mean, it's, here's here's how it works. When you're a guy, and women are going to hate this, I'm just buying this so that you'll shut up. Exactly. Exactly. It's just like you said. Like when when you feel like you you're, you're obligated in this in this situation, it's like you don't want to do it, and it's like gun to your head. You know. I mean, I mean? is that really love? I'm, I just want you to exactly. shut up. Like I just want you to get off my back. I just want you to go away. Yeah. Dear. And, the, and the gift, is, and and, it, and they take it like the the size of the gift or the extravagancy of the plan is an indicator of your feelings. When that's a big crock, that has nothing to do with how I feel. You're, you're, you're exactly right, Kenny. I, by the way, ladies, again, whatever gift you get for Valentine's Day, just remember what he was thinking when he bought it. If I give her this, hopefully it will shut her up. Think shut about up. that. Shut up. 
Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Yeah. That's what we're thinking when you get in your pajama gram. <laughs> Hopefully this will shut her up. What to quote uh, one of my one of my uh, radio colleagues of the ages, Uncle Don. That old hold the little bastard. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to John on the Tom Likas show. Hey Tom, how are you doing this afternoon? I'm doing okay. You know, uh, I just want to say I've been listening to you for about seven years now, and on my first date with my my girlfriend that I've been with now for about a year and a half, she asked me what I thought about relationships. I said, you know, I believe in prenups before marriage. I believe that there's no such thing as a month anniversary, and Valentine's Day is just something for corporations, you know. And uh, I've, I've stayed true to that in our relationship. I just feel like, you know, if you bring it up early and just, you know, if you're honest about that, the best you can do is break even on Valentine's Day. The best you can do is meet expectations that she's got. It's never going to go above, you know, just like, you know, girls dream of their wedding. Well, you know what I say. Just keep the bar low. Exactly. You know, you've got 364 days a year. If you want to do something nice and spend $100, you're going to get way more credit for it than you would if you did it on Valentine's Day. And it's just par for the course. That's right. Thanks so much, Tom. Thank you, John, for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is the telephone number. Nick on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? All right. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. So uh, next weekend, I'm taking the wife out to uh, the Kings game. I'm not going to dinner. I'm not going nowhere else. I'm uh, taking the wife to a hockey game, and she can shut up about it. That's right. The Kings are playing, uh, I think, the Philadelphia Flyers that night. Yeah, and they're, they got uh, discount tickets now. I heard it this morning on uh, on the radio. Very so, nice. Uh, good deal for, for me, man. That's think, exactly right. You can take me out with a bong rip. I certainly can. Here I go. <coughs> All right, Gary, I'm setting the stopwatch. I'm ready to time this. Do we have that uh, ticking clock there? Let's. Uh, let, as soon as I cue you, we're going to start the stopwatch, right? Uh, as soon as you're ready. You ready? All right, here we go. Joe, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, how you doing, Tom? How you doing? I'm doing all right. Listen, I'm down here in California. My buddy told me I have to listen to you because you're insane and you're just like me and you like to say it as you see it. And what I can't understand, and i got to talk it out for a minute, is how do these guys lose their chicken McNuggets when they hook up with one broad? I don't understand it. Me neither. How do they do this? First of all, this town is whipping with hot chicks. And, and, and these guys are going to go get crazy and lose their stones with one broad dictating how they live. I don't, I just, it's not what I like to see. It's not like what I like to hear. I go to places like Colombia, and there are 10 to 1 women to every guy. And they're feminine, and they love you. Whatever happened to these broads over here giving the guy a present? Or laying you down and giving you a two-hour massage and bringing you flowers? Something. Right. What or are we doing? Putting those 34 double D knockers in your face like they do they in Colombia. They got to do something. I mean, me personally, I'm a booty and leg man. So you know what I like a chicken pajamas? Before I ever did anything with her. And I'll deal with it and I'll love it. Those pajamas will be just as sexy to me as lingerie. But once they open their mouths, then I got to realize they got they throw up, they get sick, they got mental problems and financial problems. I'm out. It's disgusting to me. I agree with you. What are these people doing? I, I totally agree. The hottest chicks are in L.A. There's no doubt about it. I'm in L.A. I'm, in, I'm all over the place. I love it. I love Vegas. I love South America. I love the Latinas. I love the white girls. I love the black. I love them all. But the problem for me is once they start getting demanding and thinking I got to bow down to them, well, then it's a problem, Tom. It's a big problem for me. Well, Joe, thank you so much for your perspective. I appreciate it. Are you with me, brother? I just don't understand. Um, of course I'm with you. All right. Well, I, I set you. the bar. You know what I say? Set the bar low. Set it low. I mean, I'll do whatever. You know what I'm doing? All these other steps are looking to buy their girlfriend's flowers and do all this Costco stuff and nonsense. I'm on my face trying to find the chicks that are pissed at their boyfriend. And while their boyfriends are ordering them the flowers, I'm making the sweet talk. So they're yeah. seeing me chances are before these saps buying flowers. Yeah, anytime, the anytime, flowers you see, do anyway? anytime you see those chicks who are quote unquote in a relationship on MySpace and then it says that their mood is lonely or angry, you're going to pounce on those. Exactly. That's what we're here to do. 
this flowers. It's nonsense, Tom. It is all nonsense. I That's agree. all I want to tell you. Well, I love the show. You're the man. Pure and simple. And Dino, a shout out to your boy Dino, who rocks the house on the phone. That's all I want to say. All right, Joe. Thank all you right. For that. Okay. Tom, thank you, brother. I hope you get a lot of multiple action from these broads on Valentine's Day because I got no one single, no <laughs> one single chick for me. It's sickening. That fact makes me scared. I'd rather put a bullet in my own mouth. It's pure and simple. I, I'm sure there's a few people out there who'd be happy to help you. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> Don't you do that to me. Uh, so just help me out here, Joe. Thanks, Tom. You take care, Tom. Thanks, Tom. You too. I, I can't believe it. What happened? Two minutes and 59 seconds. He never said where he was from. He said everything else. He said everything else. He didn't have to say where he was from. But how often does that happen? I'm imagining him going around Colombia. Hey. Hey, how you doing? My name's Joe. I come down here to meet chicks like you because I love the Latinas, okay? Oh, boy. 1-800-5800-TOM. <laughs> you see our telephone number? <laughs> You ever see that Spike Lee movie, Do the Right Thing? Yeah, I saw that. I used to think like that, but not anymore. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. I need a minute to recover. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. A Tom Likas show. Talking about the uh, upcoming Valentine's Day and how guys are suffering. Let's say hello here to <laughs> Rick on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? It's going okay. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to comment on the topic. Uh, you know, I think Valentine's is uh, overrated. It's just like um, Christmas. You try so hard to find a gift, and then in the end, you don't get anything in return. So. What's the point, you know? Um, and especially right now, the way the economy is, there better be some specials out there on some food, some two for one or something. But just my two cents, Tom. Do you think you could take me out, uh, Michael Phelps style? Yes. Yes, I can. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom. That's our telephone number. Robert on the Tom Likas show. Hello. How you doing, Tom? I'm doing okay. All right. I was just giving you a call today to talk about the Valentine's Day thing, what's going on. Why can't men seem to spend some money on Valentine's Day? Well, they can, but I don't know why they would want to. I mean, it's just a American tradition. Valentine's Day, you spend money. Well, the, the slavery is an American tradition, too. Unfortunately, <laughs> we, we, we stopped doing that a long time ago. <laughs> Yeah, that's true, but I mean, if you're married to the woman and, you know, you've been with her and all this other stuff, and you're going to sit here and complain about her, then why are you still with her on Valentine's But again, why do you have to spend all that money? Yeah, I mean, it's all if it's all about, uh, you know, it's all about how much you love somebody, uh, it's the thought that counts, uh, why I mean, should spending money be important? To, you don't necessarily have to spend a million dollars. I mean, what, a dozen roses is twelve ninety nine. Uh It depends on where you get them. <laughs> Well, Ralph has got them right now on special for twelve ninety nine. We're all in California. Really? And yes, you're sir. telling me that your girl couldn't tell the difference between Ralph's roses and uh, <laughs> roses from like uh, you know one eight hundred flowers or some other special place? <laughs> Not really, because it, it's all the thought that counts in the woman's mind. That's no. That's what they say. <laughs> Don't ever believe that. <laughs> 
All righty. Well, I was just calling to see. By the way, do you have a girlfriend at 22? Yeah, 21, actually. Yes. Why? Uh, Because I've been with her for quite a while. Why? (laughs) Because she's never done me wrong. So what? I mean, because, pal, you know, life expectancies now uh, are much longer than they used to be. Mm hmm. The average man lives to be 77 years old. You're not going to be with her another 55 years. I can't say that I am, but, you know. So, uh, so what is the rush to be in a committed relationship? I mean, it's just how it worked out, you know? Basically, we have feelings for each other, so we're together. But, but, but you don't have out. to be together. But it, uh, you, you control that. You don't have to be together. I do control that. If I didn't want to be with her, I wouldn't be with her, and I won't be on the radio complaining about buying her roses if I'm with her. But, but again, why do you have to do that? Why don't I? Because it's why don't you have to? Do. to you if don't I'm have her, to. If I'm with her, obviously I want to be with her. So on Valentine's Day, I'm going to buy her some roses. Well, what's she buying you? Uh, she'll probably buy me something, too. Uh, She's not a gold digger. Because <laughs> you don't have any gold. <laughs> I probably don't have any gold, but, you know, I well, have, uh, What I have college did you attend, by the way? Uh, I, don't, I didn't attend college. How did I know? You know, I know because you got a girlfriend at 22. <laughs> well, I guess that is an educated thing to do, huh? Yes. Yes, actually, <laughs> it is. And but trust me, she's putting pinholes in your condoms right now if you even use condoms. Uh, yeah, that's that's kind of a personal thing there. What do you mean it's kind of personal? <laughs> she wants to have your baby. Oh, no, no, negative. There's, that's what the shot's for. Right, and you know those things wear out. And, uh, that's you why you go every two months and get them again. That's why you should be wearing a condom at all times. <laughs> hey, maybe I am, though. You, I didn't tell you if I was or I wasn't. You're not. <laughs> All right, Tom, can you take me out Kobe style? Are you? What's that? Are you wearing a condom? The answer is no. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be calling me one day for advice on the Hail Mary. <laughs> I don't plan on getting married anytime soon, though. Yeah, well, we'll see. All she's right. planning on having a baby. No, she's not. <laughs> <laughs> now I know you're in denial. <laughs> All righty. Well, take me out Kobe style. Dog. All right, Robert. Here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. You're a beat to my heart. Oh. You're there. I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. 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 It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to, uh, look at this, Jennifer on the Tom Likas show. Hello, how are you? Great. Great. Well, I have a comment on flowers. Someone said about flowers. Dude, I hate flowers. They're so annoying. It's like the relationship. It dies. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like you get flowers and all they do, they just sting up the house after a while and then you have to throw them away and it's just pointless. Spend money on flowers? It's stupid, you know? You're like Even a chocolate. guy. Same thing with chocolates. You know, I don't like chocolates because how many girls actually like chocolates where they're going to break out because of chocolate and also they're going to get fat? Do you want your girlfriend to get fat? I, no. I agree with you. Right? <laughs> oh, and then Robert, how could he not know about the Hail Mary? He needs to, like, listen to you more often. <laughs> He's going to need the Hail Mary. He said, oh, no, I don't want to get married. He's like, no, the wrong conversation, honey. <laughs> he didn't get it at all. So no. he needs to be informed about the Hail Mary. I, I think you're right about that. Nick on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Tom, what's going on? Not much. Hey, I'm here with my buddy Dan, and I just turned him on to your show maybe a couple weeks ago. He's a, a buddy of mine I work with, and uh, he basically just heard the Kobe style for the first time tonight. Thank you for that. Absolutely. But my, my question is, what do you think Kobe's going to get his wife this Valentine's Day? <laughs> What a loaded question that is. <laughs> what would you do if Kobe called up and asked you? Asked me what? What to what to get? Yeah, you know, after dropping four mil on that diamond. Yeah, of course, that was now several years ago. True. He's, he's got to top that now. Well, I don't know about that. I mean, has she uh, gotten over her upset about what happened? Uh, you got to wonder. Yeah. I, I mean, who knows? <laughs> But hey, hey, that one guy that called in that that girl was just ripping on. She, that guy was a definite. 
Like, what, what's he talking about? He's 21, going to, like, get his girl pregnant and stuff? Like, that's weak. <laughs> well, I, I, I agree with you. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Here's Dustin on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, how's it going, Tom? It's going great. I just thought I'd start off and say that your show uh, is pretty damn good. Thank uh, you. I'm laughing my ass off over here. But uh, to get down to more important things, I'm calling about uh, about my girlfriend. Uh, I basically started going out there a couple months ago uh, before, de before December. And when... Uh, you know, right before Valentine's rolled around, she kind of mentioned it to me. She said, you know, she said, uh, hey, Valentine's Day is coming up. And I said, yeah. And then in my mind, I'm like, uh, what am I going to do? So I did the stupidest thing I think I could do, and I broke up with her because I, I didn't really want to get her anything for Valentine's Day because, like like everyone's been saying, I think it's a waste of time, and it's, it's pretty much it's pretty much not, not, a, not a really a holiday. It's, it's kind of just a, a company thing. Well, that and also, uh, let's face it, it's the way that chicks can torture you and, uh, you know, uh, make you uh, answer to them. Yeah, that's for sure. So so I did break up with her, and um, she hasn't really, she kind of, she was talking to me a little bit, but then she stopped talking to me altogether, and I don't really know how to get her to start talking to me again. And I was wondering if maybe you had uh, some kind of information you could help me out with that. She has stopped talking to you? Yeah. I think that's fantastic. <laughs> you think I should just... Valentine's Day came early for you. <laughs> Let me understand this. Valentine's Day is next week. Yes. And she has stopped talking to you in advance of Valentine's Day? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I would say you don't want to talk to her again until uh, right after Valentine's Day, say the 15th. So, so you think that's what I should do is just not talk to her and then, then after Valentine's Day just try to push myself on her or, or torture Not push or... yourself on her, but come on. Right, right. So what do I do if she if, if she doesn't want to talk to me? Do I, do, do I just forget about it? Or... Move on, baby. Move on. Our email address, tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.